Hey everyone, it's Ryder from Skip. There's a great $5,000 to $25,000 grant opportunity that you can apply for. In this quick video, I'm gonna take you from start to finish for this big grant opportunity, the three steps to completing your application and why this is such a great opportunity. It's in the sweet spot of grants. I'm gonna tell you all about that, but most importantly, I'm gonna show you how you can quickly apply right after watching this video to get up to $25,000 to help you grow your business, your startup, or your idea. As always, thanks so much for tuning in and subscribing, especially if you're new, so you never miss out on funding opportunities, business growth opportunities. And if you appreciate what we do, hit the like button. You know we donate nearly all of our YouTube revenue back to subscribers of this channel in the form of grants. We've been doing this for three years, have given out nearly a quarter million dollars back to folks just for subscribing. And of course, being part of the Skip community, search Skip in the app stores or better yet, use the link right in the description. Okay, start to finish for these grants, the Small Business Growth Fund in partnership with the Global Entrepreneurship Network, GEN, and with funding from Etsy and Progressive. That's why I love these because there's corporate money behind these grants. This is not small potatoes. There's a good money at play here. That's point number one. The Small Business Growth Fund provides small business owners with the capital they need to make their next move. Recipients will receive between $5,000 and $25,000 to accelerate their growth and achieve success. So start to finish, here are the three steps. And by the way, the link Link to apply and track this is right in the description. It's the first one. Step number one, go to this page on Skip to check your eligibility. You must be a for-profit business located in the US, Puerto Rico, or DC. You must have less than $1 million in 2022 gross annual revenue. You must have a clear plan for how these funds will help you achieve significant growth in 2023. And you need to apply by July 21st. And steps two and three, we'll talk about how you can improve your chances of winning one of these grants. But first click, I'm interested. You'll see the confetti here. It's added to your Skip funding assistant. Then you can go directly to the application on Hello Alice. Now let me scroll through the application very quickly so you can get a sense of what's there. Then I'm gonna go back through and pick out a few important things you should keep an eye on. You can probably do this in an hour or 90 minutes, depending on how focused you are. As always, the first group of questions is demographics. Then it's about your business. And let me scroll down to the important part here. This, of course, they say is the most important part. It's five questions that talk about your business, what you're going to use the funding for, and a few other questions. I'm going to loop back to that in a second, but let me show you how they judge and pick winners. So you can keep this in mind as you go through those 50 questions. Again, most of those questions are multiple choice. You really only have about seven that require writing. So keep that in mind. Don't be intimidated by that long form I just scrolled through. So here we go. How are recipients selected? Grants between 5K and 25K are available for each round of the program. All eligible applications will be evaluated based on the following criteria. Three criteria, clarity and feasibility of plan for proposed use of funds. That's 30%. Demonstrated need for funds to achieve a business goal or milestone. That's 40% and demonstrated commitment to community. That's 30%. In fact, we have resources on the Skip blog on how to write a winning grant application. I'll put that in the description as well. So that was tip number two. How will they choose winners? It's important for you to know that. Now, step number three is quickly going through the application. But first, here is the ideal candidate. You are a true small business owner with passion and drive. This needs to come across your positive impact on the community needs to come across. You know exactly who you are, who you reach and serve, and the impact you have on the world. You are ready to achieve your next big goal and know exactly how to maximize this grant to accomplish it. Okay, let's get to the questions. But first, here's the other reason why I like this opportunity. And I think it's in the sweet spot of grants. As I mentioned, there's corporate backing behind it, Etsy, Progressive, GEN Network. That's one reason there's real money behind it. The second is it's not overly onerous. Some grant applications ask for business plans. They want you to prepare a bunch of stuff to submit to them as part of the application process. This doesn't require that. However, it's always a good idea 
to have thoughtful answers ahead of time. Many folks, of course, in the Skip community have written out their answers ahead of time and basically copy paste for new grant applications, updating as necessary for the specific grant organization, what they're asking for, etc. If you ever want one-on-one -on -one help applying for grants or funding, of course, we can help you with that. We work directly with thousands of business owners. You can always go to helloskip.com slash join to find out more. So the first dozen or so questions is about who you are, how you funded the company to date. The second part is some business basics. What's the name of your business? Business address, year you were founded, your EIN, if you have one. If you don't, that's fine. Website and socials. And here's the first of seven written questions. Number 28 here. How would you describe your business? What are the products and services you offer? So hopefully you have that boilerplate that you've used on other applications. A couple quick tips. Be specific. Do your best to avoid generalizations and statements. It's always better when you put in specific details, specific details on who you're helping, why you're helping them. And if you're talking about the impact on your business, put in numbers. If your revenue declined by 40% because of COVID lockdowns, for example, put that in. The team judging and reviewing this application and other grant applications want to see that you're thoughtful, detail-oriented, and you know your business. The third section here is more about your challenges as a business owner, including what your goals are for the next five years, what your biggest obstacle is, and then the second question you need to write about is, please elaborate on your biggest obstacle or challenge in two sentences or less, so very short. And then this is important because 30% of your application is about your impact on the community. Multiple choice questions here, how did you make a positive impact on the community through your core business. Does your company do anything else to help the community? So think about what you actually do, and I hope that that's a part of your business. If not, these are always good prompts to help you think about that. Is there more that you can be doing for your customers, for your community? And the last part here are these five questions. Let me read them again very quickly. Number one, what's your story as an entrepreneur? Why did you become a small business owner? What's the origin story of your business? Again, be specific. The second one here is about how you will use the funding. Again, this is 30% of the judging criteria, clarity and feasibility of plan for proposed use of funds keep that in mind. The third question here is tell us about where you're headed. How would this grant accelerate your business and help you achieve your business goals? So tie in questions 44 and 45 together. If you think you need a 5k grant to test and launch a new product or service, that's great. That may be all you need, but explain concretely how the 5k or 25k will help you get there. The fourth question here, how does your business connect with and support your community? This is 30% of the judging criteria. And 47, we want to hear what makes you proud of your business. What's your biggest accomplishment to date? By the way, if you feel like sharing, I'd love to hear in the comments how you might answer some of these. I'm gonna be replying to some of the responses here or any questions you have now that I've run through the application. We're nearly done. The final clicks are just verifying eligibility once again. Click submit. That's it. And there you have it from start to finish, getting in your application. There is some thoughtfulness required on these answers, but the best part is once you have these core answers, you can use them for dozens of other grant opportunities. The last step is to go back to the skip dashboard and mark that you applied. There you have it, number one, track and check eligibility right here. Number two, go through the FAQ yourself so you remind yourself what they're looking for when they're selecting winners. And the third, run through the application thoroughly and make sure all of your written answers are specific. If you want someone to review it, ask a friend or ask someone on the Skip team. We're more than happy to help. All the links are right down below. Best of luck as always. Thanks for subscribing. To see these grants and dozens more, go download the Skip app. It's an incredible resource. The link is right above. If you want to watch other funding videos, I'll link to that playlist. Most importantly, stay well, stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next video.